Hi, it's Apple1975, and welcome to Lee Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I'm bringing you to a lovely place. This is the Lookout Base. Um, I really love coming visiting here. Um, it's a really beautiful system because of the moonlight that you get. It's a very beautiful star. It gives you a very beautiful hue across the whole system. It makes things visually interesting, and it's a lovely place to come and visit. Um, and this place pretty much sums up Elite Dangerous for me in full. Uh, this one place that I come and visit once in a while kind of sums up a lot about this game. Uh, let's see. For an Xbox game, this game is still visually quite impactful and stunning. Uh, for a game this old, this holds up pretty well. Uh, the sound design is amazing. Um, the feeling of when you're landing on a planet is still cool, it's still engaging. Um, the way your sound goes in your ship, it's its beautiful. The way your UI panels are laid out are very, very, you know, nicely done. Feels like you're in a cockpit. Feels like you're turning your head to look at a screen to interact with it. Everything there is cool. Uh, with what's coming with Odyssey, the planets are going to look even nicer. We're actually going to get the chance to get out of our ship and have a walk around. The, the potential in this game is still mind-blowing. Absolutely and utterly mind-blowing uh, where this game could be in like a year or two's time if handled correctly um, it is staggering the stuff that I'm watching on the alpha streams and I'm sure you're seeing on the trailers and the alpha streams some of it looks pretty promising some of it looks pretty fun um, I'm not gonna lie it's it's cool um, I look forward to getting my hands on it and actually playing it rather than just being a spectator but as a spectator, it has the same fear that I have with all of the stuff in Elite Dangerous. And that fear is summed up by this place. Uh, this place sums up a lot of my feelings about Elite Dangerous and about FDev as a developer. I love this game. I really, really do. I've played so many hours of it, it's ridiculous. I, re I really get sad when people stop playing it because I enjoy flying with them. Uh, there are so many commanders out there that... I, you know, I dearly love winging with and chatting to and flying with that no longer play this game because they've got frustrated with some element of either the game or the community or of something. Um, and I always feel that's a real shame because this game offers unique experiences no other game offers. Um, there isn't another game like it. There isn't another game where you can organically just go out of your ship, turn, look and see a view across the stars and of planets that is only unique to that planet at that time of day because it is a one-to-one -one recreation of the Milky Way everything moves uh, it's amazing uh, but this place this if you don't know this is one of those bases like Dad's Hope where you can come and get grade 4 or um, 3 or 4 materials uh, you can also get data you scan this post uh, you get data from that and then you get mats uh, manufactured mats all the way around and you do a loop it's a great place to come um, to get materials for engineers um, you know it's a really really easy way of getting lots of grade 4 mats rather than destroying ships come here or dad's hope and just you know what you have to do is drive around do a loop uh, then save exit and then relaunch the game scan the post do a loop <laughs> save exit relaunch the game scan the post do a loop save exit and yeah, you get the point. That's the problem. The problem part isn't anything to do with this. This place is amazing. It looks really cool. It's beautiful. Uh, you can even get a really cool storyline unlocked. Um, you know, all you have to do is scan um, the other things, um, which I'll get to in a second. But, you know, you can scan the comms relays and you can download a story. In each of these bases, and there's all sorts of bases on all sorts of planets. There's loads of places you can go to and they've got little storylines written for them. Some are even voice acted which is really cool. Um, you know, And there's going to be lots more of this sort of stuff when Odyssey drops uh, which is way more promising. The more stuff out here, better. That's the things I want about. Scan those and you'll um, get the storyline unlocked. But the problem is coming here and doing this uh, for a short period of time is great it's really good fun it's a lovely place to visit it's wonderful um, but the fact is that you don't come here and do this just once in a blue moon in a while uh, because of the amount of stuff you can unlock and because of the amount of grind the developers put in this game 
you end up spending hours and hours just driving around and around and around until you get sick of the sight of this very beautiful location which is a great shame and that is what I want FDev to be mindful of when they bring Odyssey out I know there's going to be so many different things you can do with your weapons and customizing your suits but be mindful of how much grind there is there how many hours people are going to have to put in not everyone who plays your game you know has unlimited time um, and also, it's a shame when you take away the simple pleasures of enjoying views like that. Uh, you know, the view of dismissing your ship. Um, I love dismissing my ship from a planet's surface, but I have to dismiss my ship now because I've got to spend the next two hours driving circuits of this place. Um, I just wish FDev would be more mindful of the grind, reduce the grind a little bit, and let people free them, free them up so they can actually organically engage with the content that you've got that isn't just the grind. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.